Hey guys, welcome back. This is Jose, the California Beekeeper. Hey, we're back at the bee yard. Here today, we're going to pull a couple frames. We're going to check on the Mellifera booth, kind of assess it, and give you our thoughts. We've done three rounds. Uh, we might just give a little more dusting. I don't know. We're going to go open it up and take a look. So hey, if you're new to this channel, make sure you go down below and smash that subscribe button and give us a big thumbs up on this video, guys. All right, enjoy. Let's do it. It's very important that when you're trying to assess your colonies, if it's evaluating the product that you're using, or you just want to see the results, um, and it's cold, a little advice, don't break your cluster. What I mean don't break your cluster is if you have a double deep, um, you don't want to break the cluster and, uh, and shock it. So you'll smush bees. So it's very important. <laughs> Get your smoker rolling. And right now we're just trying to do some visuals, maybe pull a frame or two. Um, from some of these singles that we've dusted three weeks. So let's check it out. All right So one thing that um, I think is pretty important is always <laughs> Give it a little puff and You know, it's just good practice Good practice. You don't get a bunch of mean bees all over you when it's oh, looking they ate up the pollen patty you know they are it is warmer than last time the last time i didn't do the i didn't pull the frames because it was colder and right now we're about i would say 50 53 today but it's still pretty important just to um oh this one's a dink take a look i just spotted some so when i say dinks that means it's just a hive that's going downhill it has issues, problems, or you have a skunk. So, skunk's been digging through here, here. And what they do, you can see the little paw prints too. So, what they do is they just scratch, scratch, scratch away at those entrances. And they have a feeding frenzy. Those, those stinkers, literally stinkers, man. But, uh... Need to put an entrance reducer here, maybe help it out, even possibly relocating it, just removing it. Uh, we're in December, so we're getting closer to pollination. And the skunk is eating all these bees. And you know, in pollination, you have this frame count that you are expected to fulfill when you have these almond contracts. So something like this is just not gonna cut it. Um, there's a bee in here. There you go. So, I mean, it's just not gonna cut it. So, something like that, we usually just shake the bees, move that box away. But if it's queen right, it looks like it has, I don't know, maybe a, a frame. A frame, I'm not gonna do nothing with the frame. And it's not gonna overwinter well at all. So, so we'll figure out what to do with that later. Uh, right now, let's just go and take a look at some of these hives. So yeah, you know, for the most part, these are okay looking singles, being that they were the last splits that I made, and I just kind of pushed it, but they'll, they'll make it, they'll make it, all right? So let's open one up and let's check it out, all right? So let's uh, give some smoke here, try to pull a frame out and uh, see what they're doing see what she's doing should I say so when so really really what I'm looking for is not this amazing pattern I mean we are in December you are not gonna get nothing like that um, with a weaker hive you know a double deep that has plenty of warmth will be able to lay you out some bricks but these singles you know sometimes you just got to baby them through and give them what they need like i said before 
give these bees what they what they need and they'll perform they will give you results bees aren't going to do it by themselves in the winter it's pretty tough that's why in that's why in the fall it's very important to place your bees where they're going to survive have plenty of resources so here we go so this whole patch is laid out so the reason why we gave it three weeks and came back a full month later is because you're not going to see results overnight. A brood cycle is going to take 21 days. And that's, you have to give it at least a month in order to see what it's doing and how it's affecting the queen's performance and laying out eggs. Also, the Mellifer boost is supposed to help with, um, almost like detoxing the bees with its essential oils and and David's special ingredients that he puts in it. <laughs> so, hey, we'll put that in our description box right here, the smell of Ferro Boost. You know, for the most part, just looking at this one. Um, I'm pleased, pleased to say that. Is it a good product? Yes, it is. It's a good product. Almost wish I would have gave you guys a... Um, before Let's see what happens well that happened sometimes I'll after I let them sting me they'll just spin in circles spin in circles and fly off with their stinger still intact so that one hurt <laughs> so anyway for the most part hey thumbs up on this product Mellifera Boost hey guys Make sure you go check out these videos that we have on this Mellifera Boost, how we apply it. We always put them in the ears um, as far as what they instructed us to do um, as far as their application with their product. So, all right, guys. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you got some insight on what these bees, um, you know, there's all sorts of products out there that say they're, beneficial for the bees. I'm all for it. We all have our, how would I say it? Every beekeeper has their preferences as far as what they're looking for. From boxes to queen bees to foundation and supplements. You ask 10 beekeepers the same question, you're going to get nine different answers. So it's all how you apply it. It's all how you treat your bees, give them what they need, make sure you treat. Um, we do treat around here as far as um, our bees. We try to keep it as natural as possible. You know, uh, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. <laughs> all right, sorry guys. I was getting hammered by some bees. So, ah, yeah, as far as this, just assessing that one, it's too cold. I don't want to crack open too many, but you can, for the most part, see what we got going on here. Slapped on some leftover patty. This one's gonna be downhill. We're gonna shake the bees off and uh, figure out what we're gonna do with that. Just call it a dead out. So sometimes you just have to let it go. It's tough. It is very tough to see your colonies uh, die. And that's why we treat. We treat and we give them supplements as far as the smell of fair boost in order to clean them out, uh, detox them, and um, yeah, give it a shot, guys, you know? So, hey, all right, guys, thanks for watching.